Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is Monument. General Motors has announced electric versions of the Chevy, Equinus and Blazer SUVs. GM expects the Equinus EV to sell for a suggested price of 30 grand, which would be incredible for the market. This will make this vehicle direct competitor towards the Tesla Model 3, especially in the USA. Now, General Motors CEO Mary Barry announced that the electric versions of the automakers Chevy, Equinox and Blazer SUVs, both of which will be available in 2023, the electric Chevy Equinox will retail for a suggested price of 30 grand, which could help drive broader adoption of electric vehicles in the US. Now, the announcement came during Barry's keynote address for 2022 Consumers Electronics Show at which the company also revealed its electric Chevy Silverado pickup truck. Most EV on the market today are expensive than their gas equivalent. Most EVs on the market today are more expensive than their gas equivalents. Though EV cell numbers are still tipping up as more models become available, GM is hoping that a more affordable EV with a nameplate as recognizable as the Equinus could help spur a faster switch to electric. Other EV makers have promised affordable options only to get tripped up by battery costs, supply chain problems and other external factors. So the arrival of the Equinox EV and Blazer EV would put Chevy at the forefront of GM 35 billion push to electrify its entire lineup by 2040. In addition, the company is producing the Chevy Bolt EV and the EUV, the Hummer EV pickup and SUV the GMC, Seria, and EV, and the Cadillac, Linux. Still, GM only ship a handful of EVs in 2021, placing it far behind Tesla, which commanded around two-thirds of the EV market in the US thanks to its relatively affordable Model 3 and the Model Y vehicle. Tesla shipped nearly 1 million vehicles in 2021, a new record for the company. By the way, during this time, Mercedes shipped around 2.05 million vehicles in 2021 and BMW sold approximately 2.2 million vehicles in 2021. Now the interesting thing is that Aldi sold approximately 1.6 million to 1.8 million vehicles in 2021. What you're basically seeing here is that one day Tesla will be selling more vehicles than Mercedes, BMW and Aldi, maybe even combined because they have such a huge advantage in the market and they have such a huge supply chain. They can build up to a, they can build up to almost a million vehicles by now. 2022, they will definitely hit 1 million vehicle production for sure. And I will be surprised if they don't do 1.5 million considering just how insane their growth has been. And Tesla has new factories that are coming online such as Giga Berlin. So it's quite amazing to see electric Chevrolet vehicles coming from the US, coming from, a, coming from GM. It's really nice to see that the Chevrolet brand can actually evolve and move forward within the EV space and be quite competitive. If this vehicle does indeed launch at 30 grand, it will be a big deal. This vehicle will be huge in the US because people in the US typically love their Chevrolets. The petrol power Equinus was offered in Australia as a Holden for three years. Between 2017, the Marquis closer in 2020. Had the locally based General Motors subsidiary been retained, this may have been the first electric model. However, as it stands, no Chevrolet SUVs are currently offered to local buyers, with General Motors specifically vehicle local division offering a full-size pickup and a Chevrolet Sport only. It's unlikely that the Equinox will make the showroom down under. There will be no right-hand drive program for the new Equinox EV or the larger Blazer EV in 2023 has been announced. General Motors currently sells just a small handful of electric models and deliver just 26 in the US between October and December last year. Now Chevrolet will also launch its Silverado work truck in the spring of 2023, followed by a more expensive luxury model called the Silverado RST in 2024. Both trims will have an estimated range of 400 miles and a standard DC fast charging up to 350 kilowatts. So this is actually quite exciting. GM is pushing forward with EVs, but not just hatchbacks and sedans and SUVs, but they're pushing forward with the truck market as well. So it's really good to see.
Now I hope you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching until the end, I really appreciate that. If I missed anything in this video, feel free to leave a like, feel free to leave a comment and let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Yeah.